I was training to become a Shaolin monk this morning, and that got me thinking, is it possible to build a perpetual motion machine in No Man's Sky? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out if and what is currently possible with the current in-game mechanics. So, let's get into today's video. Now, the idea for this was fairly simple. My idea is to get a ball from point A to point B, only letting it spawn in the once, to go down a certain contraption, and then go through an infinite loop every single time, but without spawning the ball back in. So essentially, the ball will keep going through a certain loop forever. That's the general idea. So if I can make that happen, I will consider that to be some sort of a perpetual motion machine. So, so far, you can see in my testing, I'm starting quite high and I want it to kind of like go down in layers and then build another contraption which will then bring the ball back up top and then let it go back down again for an indefinite period of time. Now, there are two ways I'm trying to tackle this problem. The first way is how do I get the ball from point A to point B? So, I'm using these wooden small rails and then I've got them into a V-shape incline, one either side. That will then allow the ball to travel forward, hit a wall or an object on the far side, and then that will bounce it back down. And then you can see where I'm going with this. It's going to go in a zigzag shape. The second problem is how do I then figure out how to get the ball back up and reset itself without having to activate another ball to come down the chain? I hope that makes sense. So, as you can see, progress is going fairly slowly because I'm having to figure out at what speed the ball needs to roll in order to keep its forward momentum whilst not going overly too quick where then it will just fall off the sides no matter what it is I try and do. So, the incline itself seems to be a very, very, very important step. Now, the first idea I had in order to bring the ball back was to essentially build a small curve at the bottom, which my idea was to fling the ball back up on top of itself to then come back down. However, I soon discovered that trying to implement a curve that the ball would follow going down was nigh on impossible because the ball just didn't, no matter how much of an incline I had to build up the speed, just was never going to go back up the way that I wanted. So I had to go back to the drawing board. So the way I thought about this issue was to get a ball from point A to point B is I know that these balls can be transported through other projects that I worked on. They can be transported from one position to another via teleporters. And teleporters are very easy to be fixed. However, with this being a perpetual motion machine and just like all perpetual motion machines, that all seem to deliver infinite, like, you know, power and create power from nothing. They all have an hidden battery. So, in my case, I'm going to use the power of the game Sun, which in itself, because it's a game, is technically infinite. And that's what I'm going to use to power up the teleporters to pretty much get the ball from point A to point B. I hope you're with me so far. So, after doing a few successful runs of getting this ball all the way down from point A to point B and you can see it here in the video it'll hit a barrier there and then it'll come down however what will happen is the ball will then just fall off in every which way but the way that I'm trying to intend and this isn't an actual known issue because I've had plenty of successful tests without the teleporters in place that will literally allow the ball to roll down completely fine and be all the way down at the bottom but it seemed for some reason I added in these teleporters and everything just went to pop and it wasn't then sliding back down the way I wanted it to. So there must be some sort of interference when you add more structures on top of the trajectory or the, or the given path of the ball itself. Interesting to know. So the problem seems to be with the rails themselves making it out of wood. 
So what I did was I changed up the materials and I went for the small stone slabs instead. The idea behind it is it would make more surface area in order to guide the ball from point A to point B, which is what I want, without any sort of weird slowdown or it trying to escape from one side or the other. Because no matter what I tried, it would just automatically just the ball would just go off in any other way you can possibly imagine even with putting barriers up at either side and the contraption itself then just starts to become really messy however this solution seems to probably be the best idea yet all right so i've gone ahead i made a safe point and as you can see i replaced all the wooden railings with the actual small stone slabs and it all seems to be working now as intended. The ball goes from point A to point B. And it goes through the teleporter at the bottom. Rehashes at the top and then comes back down. But like I said, essentially it's doing that now on an infinite loop. And it's not spawning a ball in every time by the actual means of the ball creation itself. It's the same exact ball from when it started to then coming back down again, which is exactly what I wanted. So all we need to do now is build a fancy enclosure going around it that hides some of the um, batteries of the, the contraption because this is a perpetual motion device. And of course, they, they don't use batteries. These people that, that show these things, of course not. So I've gone ahead, built my fancy enclosure and you can see now the magic happened for itself. The ball goes from the top all the way down the bottom. I've built windows where then you can physically see the device, but hiding the fact that it's obviously going through that loop via teleporters because this is meant to be a perpetual motion machine and it's infinitely powered via that method so you can see it's coming down and it's going back up again in an infinite loop but i didn't want to stop here so the next project i wanted to make the outside just that little bit more fancy so taking off what we've learned from the actual perpetual motion machine device itself with the ball going from point a to point b and want to do some sort of gravity drop where the ball itself is only spawned in one so we're still keeping with the same premise it will go down from the shaft to the to the bottom and then it will be teleported to a very similar adjacent looking looking structure on the opposite side it will then go from the top to the bottom and then come back round on here spawn through the teleport at the top and it goes in an exonagal or x-shaped pattern that's the kind of general idea behind it but if I can pull this off, then it'll look incredibly cool and incredibly fancy. And again, it still keeps with the same premise of only using one ball to start it with. And then that same ball gets infinitely moved from point A to the point B. I'm, I'm going crazy with this, aren't I? So the first problem I ran into was the placement of the teleporters themselves. So as you can see, this is basically the design. Uh, two teleporters, one at the top, one at the bottom on each side. And then hooking them up in a certain way where when the ball drops at the bottom, it'll go to the top of the next one. That will then drop that ball and then that will go back up to the top of the original. So it's going in like an, an, an X-shaped pattern. So the ball placement, which is then being released via the, the top of the tube, needs to hit exactly perpendicular and exactly in the center of the the teleporter at the bottom and it needs to be accurate enough so then there's no deviation when it goes to the other side and come down because any deviation and this project will just spit the ball out in any other way you can imagine but i think i've got it lined up enough where i can start finishing up the enclosure it was a small feat to get it all lined up perfectly but i think it, it's good enough that the ball won't misbehave and give me any unexpected results so for the first quick run here without any 
any kind of windows or structures to make sure the ball keeps in its projected colours. You can see the ball drops down, it goes to the other side, drops down at the bottom there, and then comes back the other side. But if you've seen that ball then, it's actually getting caught on the edge at the bottom of the first one, just because of the alignment placement of that very first teleporter. Again, I had to eyeball it as best as I possibly could. However, once I put the windows up through the entire structure, that will then obviously add the, the stability and the ball then won't deviate. No matter if it does crash into the window itself, it won't then go flinging out of any side and it won't warp from any side either, which is more important. As you can see there, the ball has actually come out of the case in itself. So to fix that, I need to put some windows down and hopefully don't get completely glitched out by this build camera. May God have mercy on my soul. And here it is, the perpetual motion machine is working as intended. The balls are infinitely going from one side to the other and going down the original central structure. I'm probably going to build a nice fancy base integrated into this and have, have this obviously as a main feature. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you seen anything like this? Have you attempted to build something similar yourself? Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, that's my attempt at a petrol motion machine in No Man's Sky. Again, let me know what you think. But yeah, that's everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.